Do you know how can I count the rotation per minute of these two motors? If you want to know more about this one, just follow me to the slides and lab and I will explain about the Hull sensors and the magnetic sensors and how we can use it to count the rotation per minute of motors. Let's go! This is the Hall effect module and it has a Hall effect sensor on it. If it is detecting the external magnet, it will count for us and it will show on this LCD and this one starts to blink. Also, I have another LED here. This one is indicating that this sensor, this module is working. This one, when it starts to count, it will blink for us. Now I will connect the power supply to show you how this one is working. As you can see here, every time it's detecting, this one it starts to blink and also here uh, the LCD count for us, show the number and this LED starts to blink. Let's go and see the structure of the Hall sensor module. This is the Hall effect sensor and read relay. It is used for detecting the magnetic fields and we are using it for uh, counting the rotation of the motor because when it's facing the magnet, the external magnet, it will generate pulses for us. The difference between these two is that the Hall effect sensor is much faster, smaller, and electrical. So it is better to use in our project because it is more reliable. And the application of it is that we can use for the security system, for the speed control, for printers, and for disk drivers, for tachometer. There are tons of application with this sensor. This is the read relay. So the read relay is the mechanical one. As you see, there are two blades here. When the external magnet is facing, these two blades will get connected to each other. The structure of it, we have the glass capsule around it. It's for protection from the oxidizing and it's filled up with the inert gas, the nitrogen one for protection. And also here, these are the two plates. These two plates are not connected in the normal one. When the external magnet is facing, they will connect to each other. And the magnetic field around it, you cannot see it, but it will generate. And these are the read pins. So the read pins are in the both side of the read relay. And I am showing you the external magnet. This is the external magnet. It's facing the read relay. And I cannot show it in this picture when they are connecting. But in the real life, when the magnet is facing, these two plates will get connected to each other. And this is the module of the Hall effect sensors. This is the sensor. This is the actual sensor. And also we have the two LEDs here. One of them for indication whether this module is working or not. And the other one is the indication whether the external magnet is facing these Hall effect sensors or not. It will start to blink. It's working with the five volts. We have the ground and we have the analog pins. The analog pins should be connected to the analog pins of the Arduino and it will give us zero when the external magnet is facing otherwise it will give us 1023 and we can control the sensitivity and of the Hall effect sensor with this at Mega 328 because we will connect it to the digital pins and it will start to count for us about the rotation and if, if we want to give any comment to the actuators to work. So the obstacle detection is that when the magnet, the external magnet is facing the Hall effect sensors, this module, it will give us one. It means that it uh, the magnet is detected. Now this is the picture of the Hall effect sensors. 
so it has the 5 volts it has ground and it has the output this output is that the one is connected to the digital pins because it will give us either 0 or 1 now you know about the whole sensor effect if you know any application of it just leave us a comment and let us know thank you